Pyle driving in, and it's stripped by Smith. A breakaway for the Hoosiers. Smith alone, and he brings down the house. He's a electric. Quick start for the Hoosiers. Leathernecks out of Macomb, Illinois. The Leathernecks went 10 and 21 last season, as we see a three-pointer taken from the right side from the hands of C.J. Duff, and also another one of those great three-point shooters on the number one South Dakota State in their Summit League tournament. And they actually beat them in the first round, as we see a nice little turnaround jumper from Al Durham. Here's Armand Franklin driving baseline, pulling up, passing it out. Durham will spot up for three, and he knocks it down. Instead, they're going to signal that a two. Indiana looking to move the ball. Smith driving in on pile. Loses it, trying to get it back out. Franklin has to come out to get it. 13 on the shot clock. Durham on the right side this time. And nothing but net again. Take another look at it here. Al Durham, he switched it up. He went on the right side this time. Kobe Webster a little late can do it, especially in that backcourt with the injuries. There's a lot of contact from Durham. Then it's poked away, but Webster will get it back and he'll knock down the jumper. Brunk has a double team looking to pass out of it. Now Jackson Davis with a chance. He gets doubled, Smith is open. It's tipped, but he'll put it back in. Causing tough looks so far for both Smith and Trace Jackson Davis. CJ Duff gets a screen. He'll spot up from the right side and he knocks it down. Now Finnessy will bring it up for Indiana looking to push. Down low, Joey Brunk off his foot. And the Leathernecks with it back. This is Ben Pyle with the ball. Needs to take the first lead in this ball game for him. Top of the key will cross over, goes right side at the glass high, and it goes down, and the Leathernecks lead the Hoosiers early on in the first half. By some turnovers by Indiana, has led to them leading, and it's being led by Kobe Webster right now. Fadeaway jumper is no good. He was also in a 1,000-point score in high school. Durham on the other side. A pretty move will go down. Smith already a couple looks. This one's picked by Smith. Here we go. And just throws it down. Justin Smith all alone. Just went with the simple little tomahawk. It's back out to him. And now an open CJ Duff will drive into the hoop. Falls away and it's blocked by Jackson Davis. And a perfect from the field on their last five shots. Looking to continue that. Here's Fennessy. The oop to Smith. And that'll continue it. Six of six now. As he's got ten. A pretty high shooting percentage when you just throw it through the hoop every time. Here's a steal from Jerome Hunter. A two on two. Hunter by himself, and he'll lay it in. Indiana leading 30 to 15. Duff down low. The shot is altered and then followed up by James Clare, who puts it back down. The redshirt senior out of Bolingbrook, Illinois. And Smith will find Demisi Anderson on the right side. Off the screen comes Fennessy. Fennessey driving in now, left hand off the glass, and that falls. Not afraid to drive inside. And diving on the floor goes Fennessey. Now Smith has it, and Smith all alone. Rising up, the windmill is good, and Justin Smith puts it down. As we take another look. It's too easy. Four against NC Central, and then took on Duke in the round of 64. Here's Joey Brunk down low. As he gets a bucket to fall, his first two points is an Indiana Hoosier. Pushing it up, Franklin fires one. A little deep, but there's Joey Brunk. Passing it off, tipped away, Franklin back with it. Another pass to Brunk, and he throws it down. Is he driving in? A lot of contact, no call. Kyle Arnton with the rebound. Two seconds, Webster at the buzzer. And he knocks it down! Kobe Webster finds one from way downtown. Of course, I mean, you got to pick up a man, I mean, regardless of something like this. And Kobe Webster struggling from the field. Force him inside and let the post players take care of him. So far, Indiana doing a great job defensively. Here's Trace Jackson Davis down low. Especially on those pick and roll situations where you're going to be driving on against guys that are bigger than you. Here's Justin Smith to the rack, and it's good. As he has 14 points. A turnover by the Leathernecks. Now Durham's all alone. And he'll throw it down. Making a couple moves, now driving in, and it's blocked by Smith. Indiana two on two. Smith driving in, right hand, and it falls. Justin Smith will get the foul, and he'll be at the line for one shot. What a finish by Justin Smith. Came here and signed to play here at Assembly Hall in Indiana, and we're seeing it with the defensive efforts, the blocks, and able to finish it at the other end. Just all around superb effort tonight from Justin. Davis the rebound, Durham up to Smith, back to Brunk and it's tipped away. Now King pushing it for the Leathernecks. Young 
a little Euro step over is true. A nice move from Zion Young. And now the Leathernecks very undersized. Into the corner, Justin Smith will spot up, and he knocks it down. Here is the mismatch. Rob Fantasy looking to help. And now Webster will spot up and pass it off. Ben Pyle from deep, he knocks it down. 63-34. Webster driving in, blocked by Jackson Davis, but Arrington is going to clean it up. Here's Rob Fantasy off to Durham. Now Demise Anderson looking down low, Race Thompson, he gets doubled, goes through it, and he gets the right hand finger roll to fall through. It's been, I think if you're Archie Miller, it's been great. Here's Ben Pyle with it. Looking down low, Arrington, a great seal on Thompson, and he gets the deuce. Pyle looking to get past him, and Hunter staying right in front. Davis on a good switch, back down low to Arrington. Good pass, and Arrington will finish it. Looking to pass off to Webster. Durham runs into Davis, now down low, good shot fake. And a nice old man's move from Kyle Arrington. Armand Franklin pushing the issue. In the paint, off to Smith, wide open, he's got 24. So they lead it by 34. There's Webster with it. A very deep one, and he knocks it down. Webster spotting up again from deep, and he banks it in. Kind of laughs at himself on that one. <laughs> Each other out of high school in Center Grove and Cathedral. As Jackson Davis gets the block right there. Now Rob Finnessy pushing it for Indiana. Getting some shots up early and working on that jumper as Rob Finnessy comes up with a steal. Finnessy off the glass and it falls. And Rob Finnessy, if there are any questions about his health, and I believe Mary Kate Hamilton mentioned it earlier in a, a, one of her hits. Now these two teams have met before. As James Clare puts one away inside. Paul, but Billy Wright, you mentioned it, trying to get into a tough environment against a very good Indiana team so far tonight. As Joey Brunk knocks one down, but all line up here with Brunk, Hunter, and Thompson. And add Anderson in there as well. Joey Brunk, a little turnaround jumper, a little Dirk Nowitzki-esque. And now Jerome Hunter will get blocked, and Western Illinois will come up with it. Here tonight from Indiana, I mean, really getting a lot of shots off, only really with 10 seconds in the shot clock. Good pass inside to Brunk, and he'll knock it down. And Indiana is going to walk away with their first victory of the season, 98-65, to and really a very, very good showing from the Hoosiers. Shooting the ball 58%. They were led by Al Durham and Justin Smith. Al Durham, 21 points. He did not miss a shot. And Justin Smith ties his career high with 24 points. And Jordan, just your thoughts.